Hi, my name is Mark. Uh, I come to Parkour Orlando because, as you can see, it's a lot of fun. Many people come. It's great for the community. We've got excellent teachers here. They're also very avid <laughs> activists in the sport of parkour. And it's just a great place to come. Is it safe? Is it safe? Definitely. I mean, everything is padded. And if you eventually want to move on to doing things without padded, like without pads, usually the instructors are right there along doing it with you to help you out. Everyone here at the beginning of class will go through a series of stretches and drills. Uh, we start with basics, just like anything you gotta learn at the fundamentals. Uh, it's very it's very safe here. Uh, everyone has does have to sign a waiver um, and it's five dollars to get in, but I know the place has insurance to cover everything. And uh, the instructors here are very good at spotting and uh, making sure things go along safe and if if they feel that uh, someone is not up to the task, they will stop them and have them take a breath and walk them through it again and maybe have them try it next time or the time after that. Done! Why do you like uh, parkour? I just like all the climbing and flips and jumps and everything. Yeah, I like it because it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> what do you find uh, the most difficult thing to be? Um, right now, the running up the wall. Right running up the wall? What do you think about the instructors? I think they're nice. They're great. Yeah. They're good? They make sure people stay safe? Yeah. Hi, I'm Blue, or Andy, the organizer of Parkour Orlando. Uh, every Tuesday night at Lake Mary All-Stars Gym, we teach some uh, parkour classes. Here's an example of some of the things that we teach. All right, so today, kids, we're gonna learn the Kong. The Kong is an awesome vault, high speed. What you do is you approach whatever obstacle is in your way. You wanna place your hands flat down. You wanna kick your legs up. As you do that, Push up with your upper body, then you're gonna tuck your knees to your chest and swing through, and then step out and keep running. Right, so another vault is the speed vault. It's another awesome high-speed vault. As you approach whatever uh, obstacles in your way, you're gonna put one hand down flat on the object kick your hips up to get over. The idea is as you're kicking your hips up, you want your feet to come together or close to it. As you go, you keep your speed up and you step out and keep running. Uh, the idea is to call a speed vault because you want to keep up a lot of speed. Piece of cake. Another uh, like super awesome vault uh, that I like to do is what's called a reverse vault. Again, like most vaults, you want to keep up a lot of speed. As you're approaching the target, you want to put your hand down. One hand down, put your hips up over backwards. As you do, you want to get a pop, spin, and you step out and keep going. When you do this, you want to either tuck your feet or let your feet kind of flow over the target. That way you can step right out naturally and keep running, keep all your speed. It's a great ball, it's got a lot of fun, a lot of flair, and it just looks super fantastic. To do a 
climb up, you have to get on the wall in a cat grab. A cat grab is a prerequisite to doing a climb up. So you should already know how to do a cat grab. So, do a cat grab. With a cat grab, as you should know, your knuckles are at the edge of the ledge. At the edge of the ledge. You're going to be in a cat grab with your legs against the wall. Then you're going to push against the wall and move your arms this way. I don't know what this is called, but that's the way you're going to move your arms in order to do a climb up. You're going to do this and this at the same time, like this, but with both legs. I can't do it on the ground because of gravity. You come up, you change your grip to what's called false grip, and you'll be about here, and then you push up. Watch me. Cat grab, false grip, push up. That's climb up. I'm teaching dash vaults. Uh, the secret to doing a dash is to lean back. You want to kick your legs up in front of you and lean your chest back and then just push off behind you. Oh, you and think of it. Jump over. All right, we're doing lazy vaults. Uh, when it comes to a lazy, you want to use a swinging motion with your leg. You're going to want to swing it up. That's what's going to drive. That's what's going to drive your hips up into the air and uh, let you just sail right over the top of the target. We're doing precisions. Uh, the key to precision is getting a nice arc. You want to jump up and come down on your target. So uh, make sure to always land on the balls of your feet and absorb it with your legs. All right, so we're gonna go over a tic-tac. What you're going to do is you're going to approach the wall at a 45 degree angle. You're going to make your first jump off of the ground. Your next jump is going to be off the wall at a 45 degree angle away. Just like this. Make sure you land correctly and make sure you jump off at a 45 degree angle. So a roll is a move that we use to dissipate impact after a jump or a fall. We go into it the same way that we land, on the balls of our feet and the palms of our hands, right here at the knuckles. Bend your elbow, go from whatever shoulder is front to the opposite hip. This is usually not started from a crouch, you usually land from a jump. So it looks like this. Then you run out. Okay, so now we're going to be learning a wall spin. How you do a wall spin is you go up to the wall. You're going to jump up, not at the wall. You're going to have your right hand above your head, not down low, not above your head, but right above your head. Left hand here, jump up. So you want to be close to the wall whenever you jump, and you don't jump at it, and then you spin. Whenever you spin, you're going to be throwing this hip out. This is what's going to get you rotated. And if you jump up, and you stay open, you will land on your face. So what you need to do is you need to throw this hip and stay tight. So whenever you do it, this is a wall spin. Whenever you do it, you want to land right on your feet. You want to keep your body facing the wall the entire time, multiple times. That's a wall spin.